Hey, Kase fans, it's me again. Welcome back to this week of the show. Um, this week, I'm here with Oliver, a.k.a. Peter Parker. Um, we're going to get this started because I made a big oopsie earlier, so we're just like not going to talk about that. Anyway, Oliver, um, since I messed up last time, I can now do this again. <laughs> I really love um, Oliver's Bakugo and his Danky. That's freaking awesome. Um, that's how I first got to know him. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna go back to the basic question. What's your favorite thing about cosplay? Um, definitely my friends. <laughs> I'm just gonna recreate. Knock yourself out. We're gonna try to recreate this as best <laughs> as possible. Yeah, definitely yeah. all the friends. I like literally all my friends do cosplay. My boyfriend cosplays. I met him like through cosplaying, and um. Yeah, and it's, and I get to go to conventions with all of them, so it's super fun to just get to hang out with everybody and uh, mess around. Yeah. So that's definitely my favorite thing. Okay, let's talk about conventions. Um, <laughs> what con uh, What cons have you been to? Which ones have been your favorite? What about their experiences? Um, so uh, I've... I've only been to Anna Marathon in Ohio, which was smaller and Hey Oliver, you're kinda of breaking up. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, That's cool. Here, I'll say it again. But um uh um I've been to I've only been cosplaying for a year, so I've been to Colossal Katsu and Yomakon twice now. Yomakon was my first con and I just went again. And uh, those are the big cons. I also went to Anna Marathon in Ohio and Washicon in Michigan. So I go to uh, Michigan cons because I live in Michigan. But um, yeah, I went to KatsuCon last year, which is in like Washington, DC, Maryland, like right on the border. <laughs> And uh, when I went with my friends and we drove like nine hours overnight. It was awful, but it was super fun. And um, Colossal is also super fun. That's in Ohio, and it's at Kalahari with the water park. And uh, but we were so um, like excited about the con. We never actually went into the water park, but it was still fun. And then uh, just at Yomacon, uh, me and all my friends did a Dong and Rapa panel, which was super super successful. And, um, which was like really fun. I wrote the, the script for it and we all like, it was basically just like live action down the route, but like investigating and holding a class trial. And it was, it was pretty fun. That's pretty cool. Um, you said that you met that look, all of your friends cosplay. So what are, do you want to plug some of your friends? Yeah, okay. So um, my boyfriend is a uh, bubblegum cause uh, on TikTok and Instagram. But on TikTok, there's an underscore at the end. And um, one of my best, my best, best friend, who actually I've been friends with for seven years and we both started cosplaying together, um, is a uh, Mac. Her her username is Ochako Cos, um, like Uraka. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, me and her started, we went to our first con together. Like we started, it was so fun. And uh, then, yeah, No Name Brand, which he's pretty popular too. That's Cass. And my, uh, my other friend, Danny. And his username is DJ Stink Daddy. And <laughs> that was the wrong time to take a sip. But, um, yeah, he's DJ Stink Daddy. Call him Daniel J. Stink. And um, he's, uh, he's really funny. Um, and lover boy cosplay um who else we got skylar that's double o d u h b l o and ronnie angry ronnie ronnie's girlfriend angry jai <laughs> we got a lot of friends <laughs> yeah that sounds like a really big group of friends and you met them all through cosplay so that's like really cool um let's talk about the community because like that's that's where you're that's something that you we've place the big focus on so why don't you tell me about your opinions on the community because that's what we talked about last time yeah um 
I, I really love the cosplay community. Um, there are obviously things that, you know, we can work on, but everyone's super nice and supportive. And one of my big inspirations for in the cosplay community, sorry, sneeze was coming. Oh, that's sneezing. cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of my biggest inspirations is Book It Brown. Ooh, um, they're super sweet. They actually, like, they literally sent me, like, a whole entire google doc on how to run patreon to help me with patreon so oh they're they're literally so sweet like period and like i just love all their posts they're super kind and whatever and i think that they're one of like you know they're pretty popular and i think a lot of people look up to them just everyone in the cosplay community which i'm glad because we should all be you know basing our stuff off of how they act yeah but yeah so like two weeks ago i think it was bucket but um with the whole bakugo wig thing didn't they post something and support it for you yeah like yeah a bunch of people did but yeah um yeah buckets yeah. was the was the one that i saw yeah they're they're like the first one um yeah they are so nice and um you know they and they said some stuff in the and the post too that they post on their story, which I also posted about on my Instagram, just like um, it's animated characters. Everyone has unique and cool to interpretations of like the wig, makeup, personality, um, and I think everyone's interpretation is fun and awesome. And you should you should draw, cosplay, make art for, write about the characters in any way that you know you want to because that's your vision but you know imposing your whatever on other people who don't need it you know it just sometimes it can be not so fun because people work really hard on uh their cosplays and making videos and wigs and makeup and all that and um just that's one thing that i think the community just needs to work on but it's mostly younger people um which is obviously, you know, they're yeah. younger, so it's just, they don't really get it sometimes. But it's not even, it's not just me, because, like, um, everybody, like, gets hate on their stuff sometimes. And especially, like, I think I was talking about this with, uh, with Jamie or something, but, like, the two biggest things that people will, like, hate on immediately are, like, any, honestly, anything to do with My Hero Academia if like if it's not the way that they want something to be ships which is also oof touchy uh, yep yep and um which is why for like for me i i don't say anything about ships on my social media anywhere like i mean i'll say something in like support of a ship but i'll be like oh ships are valid because like people go crazy and um oh freaky freak out i forgot to say something <laughs> But, um, oh, and Junko wigs. If you don't, you, I know you don't play Danganronpa, but, um. I have a friend who cosplays Junko. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, everyone, like, oh my <clears> god. <throat> like, people hate Junko wigs. Like, they go, they all go feral. And it's it sucks because, like, everyone has cool interpretations of Junko and how they want to do their hair. Even if it's not exactly what it looks like in the uh, video game or whatever, but. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's another big problem. Do you think, like, your experience, like, because there was a lot going on with the whole Bakugo wig thing, do you think that, like, that changed your opinion on cosplay or, like, affected you in any way? Um, it just, well, I know, um, you know, just being someone on social media with any sort of following, you know, you sort of have to just, you know, it's going to happen. And... But it's just my the people who follow me are super super sweet, and I've I've literally never gotten any backlash on any cosplay before. So that just kind of I was like, what? <laughs> it's like you didn't deserve it. Well, I mean, you know, people people just have their own opinions, and that's fine. It's just you know, especially for people like it's it's sort of different for me, but especially for like people who just started cosplaying. If people did that to someone who just started cosplaying, they would probably stop. You know what I mean? So, like, we just have to be 
wary of like what you say to people when they don't need it. Yeah. Do you got any advice for for baby cosplayers? Uh. Well, because of my mistake, I would say wear a freaking wig. <laughs> Do not dye your hair for for a character. Wigs are good. Don't be scared of wigs. I literally the biggest regret of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but like, you know, if, if you want to wear your hair, whatever, I was lit the, like my plan for that first con. And I like, I'm not joking. Like only Mac knows this, but I'm about to expose myself. Um, uh, like, we got the inside scoop. Con, I was like, I'm going to have green hair and I'm going to do Deku on Friday. And then I'm going to dye my hair black and do Keith. Like I literally, I hated wigs. I was like, I'm not wearing a wig. But, you know, it's, wigs are good, and they're fun, and whatever. And now I have, like, 35 freaking wigs on my wall, so. Yeah, because now you, like, specialize in. <laughs> I love wigs. So, yeah, definitely wear wigs. Amazon, honestly, I used to hate Amazon wigs, um, but they got, they got some stuff on there if you're broke, well, like me. I got, I have a lot of Amazon wigs now. And, um, you know, you just have to be careful. Read the reviews. The, they can be bad. It's also, the only thing about Amazon wigs is if you, if you want to use a wig for a character, I honestly stray away, like, from wigs that are specifically made for that character, if that makes sense. Like, because you can search up, like, Bakugo wig on Amazon, it was bad. <laughs> Not good. Like I would just look like look up blonde boy cosplay wig and just like buy it and style it. Cause um yeah I got my Keith I got my new Keith wig off of Amazon and I you know I bought my first Keith wig off of Amazon but I bought the Keith wig off of Amazon and it was awful. But I just bought a black a short black wig and I just cut it and now it's fine. Um, but Arda wigs is good. Um, this is from Arda wigs. If you're styling like really lightly, especially like if you're doing girls, but they're still cosplay wigs. But um, like my Deku wig is Arda, my Bakugo wig is Arda, this wig is Arda. Um, what else? My first Keith, my second Keith wig was from Arda. My Kirishima wig's from Arda. My Kaminari wig's from Arda. Like, I literally love Arda Dude, I love your I love your Kirishima too. Oh my god, I love like all your cosplays. I'm not fangirling right now, it's fine. Thank you. <laughs> I I like my Kirishima too. That wig has been through a lot, but um, <laughs> yeah, Arda Wigs is a good place. Epic cosplay wigs is good for more heavy styling. Um like they have um good Kirishima wigs there too. I just like my Kirishima wig like to look Proofy and natural, so mm -hmm. that I got it from Arda. And then, if you're doing girls, um, if you want long, really nice wigs, UV me and a EBU, those are good. I like wigs from there. That's all. That's my wig rant. That's it. <laughs> um, I don't remember if we talked about you this time, but how did you start cosplaying? How'd you get into it? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I started um, last year. When I went to Yomacon in 2018, and that was when I dyed my hair green for Deku, <laughs> and I did my wig, and um, it was still fun, but bad decision. And um, but it's just funny because I was like, I look so good right now, and I did it. I like I didn't wear makeup either. I was like, no wearing makeup, no I'm not wearing a wig. And now I'm like, but that's okay. <laughs> and um. And then I went to Katsukon, which was my second, uh, my second big con, and uh, that was it was fun. But it was like we drove nine hours overnight, and I like crashed the next day. <laughs> but it was still super fun, and um, yeah. And then right around January of 2019 is when I started um, posting cosplay stuff on TikTok, and um, that was when it started you know, started my obsession. <laughs> like, the first cosplay TikTok I ever posted was of Deku, and it was in my dorm bathroom at my 
<laughs> old dorm and I was like I styled a wig so bad and um, and I was wearing the school uniform that was like two sizes too big but we made it it's okay um how do you feel like that impacted you I mean you've only been involved for like a year now so, like how do you feel like that's like how has it been for you <clears throat> well honestly like like TikTok has helped me so much just like because on it like TikTok is probably like my biggest like the reason that I cosplay because um sometimes I'll like get into cosplay and I just I like literally forget to take pictures and that's why there's like TikToks on my Instagram because I just like I get into cosplay to make TikToks and um but yeah like I told you before that um I would when I first started to really get into it, like April of 2019, like when my roommate was gone, I would like get into cosplay. And when I first started, I would literally be in cosplay for like five hours and make like a hundred TikToks. Like that's like, it was awful dog. Like I would just make so many. And, um, and then doing that so often, like last, um, earlier in the year, I would do it like literally probably at least three times a week. And just all that practice, you know, got me a little better. So, yeah, I think I have TikTok to thank for that. <laughs> I think we've I think we've covered everything that we covered last time. So, um, <laughs> bye, Costa fans. Thanks for dealing with my sick sore throat this week, and thanks for watching. Love and support Oliver. He's he's best boy. Honestly, Canon Danky though. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next week.